Alright, welcome guys. Um, this tutorial will be very painless indeed. It's nothing we haven't done before. I'm just going to create these big panels down the side. I'll show you a reference image. Um, if we have a look at them, they're actually different. This one here has got a band that sticks out, and that one there looks to go inwards a couple of times. Um, it's not very tricky. You can see some of these panels sort of look like they're coming in. That one there looks like it's coming out a bit. You can see a bit of shadow down there. Um, so, yeah. Let's crack into it. Um, we'll do this side over here first. This one's just got sort of board around it. Um, so jump onto the body. I suggest you create a backup of your body at this stage. So you can copy and paste that and drag it down into your um, backups folder. Um, you can see I've dragged one down there already. Because um, tutorial after this one, we're going to be severely hacking into this to get these events and things in it. Um, so definitely a good idea to back it up now. Um, I'm going to make a polygon selection here. Um, so grab your selection tool and the one thing you want to make sure you've got ticked is only select visible elements otherwise you'll be destroying the back of your model. Um, so we'll start at about here and we'll come a couple way up from the arm. As you can see I'm not really working to any specific pattern once again, I'm just selecting whatever I can find. Um, I'm sure you can look at the reference image and work out what you want if it's closer to that. Um, so from here for this one we're just going to do extrude inner. Um, an offset's probably around, I'd say, 25. Um, that's going to look about right to me. Um, so what we're going to do is just grow that selection back out and deselect the polygons in the middle. So Q and Y. And grab your selection tool and hold control to get rid of all those in the middle there. And so with that selection we're just going to extrude it a bit. Um, I don't know how much yet. Five is looking a bit too small. So we'll go back. Um, try ten. Okay, there. Um, so it looks like it has a bit more depth. You can select this inside ring of polygons here using the loop select. Um, well, you should be able to. Like that there. And you can set a selection set and drag your material on. Um, so I'll do that now. Um, set selections down the bottom somewhere. Um, oops, I think I should type large vertical edge. And drag our black material onto that and selection set down. So now when we render that, so we can give it a look. You can see it's got a nice sort of dark edge around it. Like so. Um, the one on the other side, as I said, um, goes inwards a bit. Um, again, that's not hard to do. It's just the extrude tool again. So we'll grab a selection over here. Far around that was because these panels look about the same. Five, six across. One, two, three, four, five, six across. Come down to one more than I've got there. So we're just going to stick to those there again. Go 
got all those, and we got a extrude in it. Um, put you down to around. Oops. Um, twenty, I'd say. There we go to extrude. And we're gonna go inwards. Um, so offset of ten. Oops. Offset of minus ten to go inwards. Um, we can extrude in her again. Um, we'll use the same settings and we'll extrude that in a bit as well. Okay, minus ten again. We'll do a quick render. See how that looks. Go, that's looking okay. Um, again, you can go around with a set your edging with a black material if you so desire. Um, I don't think I'll bother here. I'm going inwards, it's usually okay, it's usually those ones that sort of stick out. Need to darken because the lights will take care of all this here. Um, so that's basically that there. You can use that same technique for all the panels on the front. Um, so next tutorial we'll look at getting these vents in. Um, we'll look at the reference image. You can see there's one here with a sort of grill across it. Um, one here with a fan inside. Um, this one here with sort of a bit going up and in, and these ones with the slats across, and this one here with a funny shaped hole and a lumpy thing inside. So, oh, probably a tutorial each on getting those shapes. Um, once you've done a couple, you should be able to work out how we're going to get the rest. Um, but I'll have them there anyway. And once we've got those in, um, we can redo this bit at the bottom because I'm not happy with that. And then it's on to the arms and we're pretty much done. So stick around, we're nearly there.